So let's quickly talk about the importance of uh, blood grouping and cross-matching before transfusion. You know, we are not here to actually talk about all those methods because those are things we actually learned during our physiology years, okay? So here now, we are just trying to talk about what importance, all right? So if a patient needs blood transfusion, and they are telling you that you need to do blood grouping and cross-matching, what is the importance of this, okay? So you can see this is blood grouping and cross-matching. I am basically doing this to know if... Uh, a blood that you are having is group, blood group A or blood group B or blood group AB or blood group O. Okay, so you are trying to do all this just to know. So, uh, the goal of what blood typing and cross matching is to find a compatible blood type for transfusion. Right? So, you are not just doing it, you are doing it to know that this blood I'm trying to infuse into this patient, let it be compatible with the patient's blood to prevent any adverse reactions and all those stuff, okay? Now, the results of blood typing will tell you if you are a type A, type B, type AB, or type O. And it will also tell you if you are restless negative or positive, okay? Now, the results will tell your healthcare provider that blood or blood components will be saved to give you. Do you understand? That means like, if you are needing blood, they need to do a test for you. They need to do a test for who is giving that blood for you. Or if there's already blood in the blood bank that they have already done every test and all that. They need to do, they need to do a test for you to know which type of blood to actually bring from the blood bank for you. All right? So, blood grouping and cross-matching. So that the uh, blood group of a recipient is determined via testing. Now, similar ABO or RH type blood is obtained. For transfusion, you need to find the blood that has a similar blood group and similar restless factor for transmission. Now, serologic what compatibility is then performed between the donor cells and the recipient's what plasma. So you're trying to compare what is coming from the donor, what is coming from what who is receiving. Okay. So now in their emergencies, on crossed matched, okay, blood group O negative may be administered. So if it is too fast like that, that you can't really do a testing on the patient, you can't really do a test testing on the blood or donor, just go to the blood, blood bank and find this word, O negative, okay, O negative type of blood and what administer it, all right? So on that basis, these are the importance of blood grouping and cross-matching before transfusion.